So here we are at Abbey Road in London. Hi, it's Warren Hewitt here. Hope you're doing marvellously well. I'm excited to be back at Abbey Road Studios and to be talking to Matt of Audio Movers. Audio Movers, which you're probably aware, is a software which has really changed things quite dramatically. Ever since the old Dan Pemick, as we like to call it, Audio Movers came along and really made so many things possible for so many of us. Meaning, mixing work was where all the growth came from because you couldn't track one-to-one with the band anymore, but people were tracking at home and then sending you stuff that had been tracked in multiple places. I could then mix it and then stream it in real time to the artist anywhere in the world. Movement could be done. You could do it, you could literally see it and hear it within a nanosecond. It was revolutionary software. And if you don't know about it, you will do soon, because we're going to talk to Matt at length about it. They also have many other pieces of software, which we'll touch on. And... They're going to give away five bundles of this software, which is a three-year access to Listen To Pro, lifetime access to Inject, and lifetime access to Omnibus. Those three plugins alone is $1,000 worth of software, so please don't forget to enter to win down below. And without further ado, let's have a word with Matt. Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing marvellously well. Sitting here with Matt from Audio Movers. How are How you? you? Doing? Good to see you. Good to be seen. It's lovely being here at Abbey Road, which um, Audio Movers is actually an Abbey Road product. Yeah, so technically Audio Movers is part of, we say, the Abbey Road Studios family. Um, so the company was acquired um, getting on for two years ago now. Excellent. Um, founded by Igor, who's here, and, uh, and Yuri, and then a roaring success. And then I think Abbey Road were looking at through Abbey Road Red, they've always had kind of an interest in sort of new technology. Sorry to simplify, but to take Listen To as an audio streaming service, a very high quality one, the bread and butter of Abbey Road Studios is these incredible orchestral scores that are done daily here of some of the biggest movies in the world. So you've got a director, et cetera, production staff all sitting in California and they're recording here. They're not flying, you know, 50 people out. And orchestra dates, as we all know, are very expensive. Hundreds of thousands of pounds because you've got 80 to 100 people sitting in a room. So this is probably the best place to test the stuff out on a daily basis. And if it worked for them, they're probably like, hmm. Yeah, well, that's it. I don't know how, how much I'm... Uh, the, the story that I heard was... I don't know if I'm allowed to say this or not, but we'll... we'll Too late, you're saying We'll we'll soon find out. But they basically... (laughs) But it... Because, yeah, they had that kind of, you know, spoke to the engineers and said, look, we know you're doing this. We know there's a remote aspect to all these sessions. Yeah. There's a few solutions out there. And the engineers went, there's one that works. It's called Listen To. It's by this company called Audio Movers. That's what we use. There's other stuff. It drops out. The quality's not great. You can't rely on it. And as you're saying, like the amount of money that goes into orchestral sessions, if the composer, Insane. yeah, like if, they're, if there's a dropout in audio, you've got, you got a problem on your hands, like serious problem, so yeah. So tell us a little bit more about Listen To. Yeah, so Listen To, um, initially Igor and Yuri devised it um, as uh, a plugin, so uh, works with any door and it's basically the ability to transmit uh, uncompressed, so up to lossless PCM quality audio, you can send multi-channel audio, you can send immersive Atmos, but that's that's kind of grown over time. Initially, it was a plug-in um, and you're sending stereo. Now we've got a version called Web Transmitter, so from any web browser, so you can drag and drop your audio, so you don't even need a door, uh, things like that. And there's a standalone application as well. So instead of, you can be routing audio into your application and managing it in there. You can be recording the audio within it. Um, and the, that's largely the version that the Abbey Road engineers are using. They're using kind of the application and sending from one machine to another. So it's kind of, it's, it's, it's blossomed. But um, there was a producer who described it to me as, it's like an XLR cable to anywhere in the world. He's like, I plug it in here, you plug it in in LA, we're up and running, you know. Excellent. Yeah. That's a, that is a wonderful description. So we're gonna get Igor, one of the creators of this, to actually take us through the plugin and treat us like idiots, because I kind of am one, so. <laughs> you and me both, yeah. <laughs> Let's let Igor do it. Nice one. 
Okay, so the way to use Listen to Plugin is fairly simple. Uh, you just insert it on a channel that you wish to stream and uh, log into your account uh, using your credentials. After logging to your account, you have uh, set session settings where you can choose different latency settings and quality. It depends on your needs. Uh, uh, so, for example, we can switch here to 24-bit PCM to stream uncompressed audio and you click start streaming. Uh, basically, you're ready to go. Um, when you click start streaming, session streaming link copied to clipboard and this is what you can send to your recipient. Um, or you can copy link again, pressing this button. So I will demonstrate how people on the other end will hear the stream. So they just need to open a browser, paste the link and press start listening. And this is how they will hear the audio from your DAW. They could also mute or adjust the volume to their needs. This is how simple it is. In addition to receiving audio in web browser, you can also receive it in an app. So uh, there is listen to application for Android and iOS. And uh, you just open the link and uh, plays back. So the next upcoming plugin is Inject, and it allows you to bring any audio source into your DAW channel without changing your uh, DAW playback engine. Uh, so I'll demonstrate it here. Uh, I'll insert it into auxiliary channel. And it has a plugin input, which is your channel input, basically. External output, where you can set your device to output audio to and it will list all the audio devices present in your system. Um, you also have external input, which will allow you to bring audio from any external device or internal device in your system. This way you select it. Um, and uh, it also comes with a virtual driver that allows you to uh, grab audio from any system output. So I'll demonstrate here a use case where, for example, we have uh, YouTube playing some classical music. I'll choose my system output. Uh, I'll set it to inject I.O. driver. And in my external input section in plugin, I'll choose inject I.O. driver as my input. And you can hear audio immediately but also it has built-in recorder so we can sample interesting things here and it supports drag and drop so we recorded it i'll mute it here and you can play it back So this is um, Omnibus. This is the second version uh, of Omnibus. Um, it's going to be released very, very soon. Um, the basics is that it's, it's pro users tend to think of it as a virtual patch bay. So you have inputs and outputs. So you're effectively patching audio from one place to another. So as you can see on the left, so I've got this column here, Omnibus has basically found all of the audio devices um, on, my, um, on my computer. So you can see SSL2, so it's found this console, um, Inject IO, which is uh, another plugin that we've got. We got the microphone, um, the speakers for the laptop, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, I'll call out Omnibus A and Omnibus B. So these are two of the virtual drivers. Uh, so if I go up to the top right on my machine, you can see that I've actually have my system output audio as Omnibus A and Omnibus B. So they kind of trick your computer into thinking that um, there is a physical bit of hardware that has input and output. So as you can see, so at the moment I've got I've got audio um, coming from a couple of places. So you can see these these faders coming through. Basically. 
On the left, you've got source channels. So these are places that I've got audio coming in from. So up here, I've got Omnibus A, and um, here I've got Omnibus B. So, and basically I can route or route um, my audio to, to any output. So Omnibus A and Omnibus B um, also have uh, outputting, so I can send that. You can see I'm sending stereo from Omnibus B to SSL2. So I'm sending it to this console. I've got that muted at the moment. That's why you can't hear it. Um, I can also send uh, through to um, the laptop speakers there. Um, again, I've got that muted locally, but I can send that to here. And I can send and receive um, audio basically from any source that I might want to anywhere else. So that's a list of my devices. I've got kind of endless routing options. I can, um, you know, engage them, turn them on and off, um, make them visible, not visible. I can play around with the settings, you know, personalize it, make it so it's a little bit easy to follow, different colors for devices and all that kind of thing. Um, and then uh, you can save various uh, routing setups. So here I've got um, two snapshots uh, set up. Um, basically, I have uh, multi-channel audio coming from Apple Music and I have multi-channel um, coming from my door. And what that allows me to do is very quickly AB, so I can just flick between the two snapshots and I can compare, compare the levels between uh, the track that I'm working on and a commercially released track. So endless uses um, we know live front of house engineers who use this to compare setups and things like that basically you can send audio from any place to any place um, you can send audio from one door to another um, so you might want to be able to do this if you're playing around with immersive audio and you want to do things like use the apple renderer um, and hear how the track you're working on that you're mixing is going to sound on airpods and it's going to sound to people um, who when the track is actually released we're talking about what it's like to do a string session here but have the client obviously the pandemic changed everything um and it seems like people have got used to now working remotely they're realizing they can save themselves of you know tens of thousands of dollars of flying their whole team over and having them here um how does that work, like using audio movers, using listen to, I suppose, specifically? Yeah, so as you said, we were used to have the clients from coming from all over the world a bit more frequently. But then after the pandemic, with the pandemic, things changed and we, we definitely got used to uh, working in a, uh, with a different workflow and having people around the world uh, tuning in uh, with their uh, services like audio movers and the listen to app where we can stream audio in high quality all over the world um so yeah it definitely changed uh, our workflow but people seem to adapt to the, that pretty well and as you said there's a economic uh, advantage to it because you don't have to fly people around um, for us uh, well we have less crowded control rooms um but we also need to manage uh, an extra thing uh, in, a, in our daily basis, so it's really important for us that these kind of services are like easy to use and uh, Audio Movers is, is, is definitely easy enough and user friendly for us, but also for our clients. I actually saw it developing through time. I remember it to be like a, a tiny thing, you could, you could have like a stereo uh, track going and now it has become like a multi-channel uh, service and it's much more flexible and infinite possibilities. So yeah, I saw it growing from, you know, the, a tiny thing to what is now. It's also useful because of the multi-channel um, option. We can actually send um, time code in a spare channel, for example, and that could help us linking um, what we are listening, what we're seeing to what they are listening, what they're seeing. Because sometimes the picture is, uh, we have the picture. In, a, in one of a, our computers, one of our rigs, but they also have the same picture, I don't know, in America somewhere, mm -hmm. and audio and picture need to run together. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's absolutely the most important thing when you're doing music to picture, that they actually yeah. be synced perfectly. Yeah, exactly. 
um, Audio Movers has few options to for the bit rate and uh, and for latency. So uh, usually, even if there is some discrepancy, uh, we are we manage to fix it, like changing the settings on that. Yeah, I guess uh, um, thinking about the fact that um, an um, a software like Audio Movers can be mm -hmm. used by people like us in a big studio, but it can also be used by people uh, at home. Like, yep. Um, d maybe doing a mix for someone and you can use it in, in real time so the person can listen to whatever you're doing. Yeah, I mean, the reality is it's not particularly expensive and no. you're using it's the really same important. version that somebody yep. at home uses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know there are other ones on the market and I'm blanking on the name one in particular, but mm. there's something that's like a ten or $15,000 a month service that's exclusive for studios and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely an advantage uh, for audio movers to be that uh, competitive on a price basis, let's say. Um, and it's really reliable and it works really well. It's, it, again, it's easy to use, it's just a link you click on and the client can hear what is happening. Um, and it's exactly the same thing that's been used here at Abbey Road for years and then you can use at your home uh, when you're doing a mix remotely. It's exactly the same software. Thanks ever so much. Nice one. I really appreciate it. There will be a link down below where you can check out the plugin. Is there a, a free trial period on this? Yep, so audiomovers.com, um, you get 48 hours um, free trial. Um, and uh, I think we'll do something for Produce Like a Pro Excellent. members as well. So Wonderful, so check out the link below. So thanks, Matt, and everybody at Audio Movers. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And don't forget, you can enter to win one of five copies of the bundle. Once again, the bundle is three years access to Listen to Pro, lifetime access to Inject, and lifetime access to Omnibus. That's $1,000 worth of plugins. So please enter down below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. So long, farewell, la vie de au revoir, adios, goodbye.